Welcome to submitting a billing question training. This training is part of a series developed specifically for customers in OASIS. This section will cover using the submit a billing question feature. The feature allows both ordering officials and non-approvers to submit a question related to the billing terms on an OA directly to GSA and track the answer in the system. The question will be received by our highly trained OA editors, ensuring you receive a nationally consistent and accurate response. Let's get started. For our training example, let's say we received a billing adjustment on our last bill, and it doesn't seem to match the credit we were expecting. We want to ask GSA for details, and if the adjustment was incorrect, get it fixed. To ask this question about a rent bill, we'll start here by clicking the Submit Request link from our customer portal. This opens our request form. At the top in the general section, OASIS will assign a request number. That's how the request is tracked. You have several action buttons at the top right, Save, Save and Close, which you might use if you weren't ready to submit the request quite yet and wanted to work on it later. Submit request and delete. That would be used if you find you don't need to ask the question after all. You start by picking whether this is for a leased or owned OA, and the form defaults and assumes you're submitting it for yourself. See the customer user guide if you're submitting it on someone else's behalf. For our example, we'll use a leased OA. Under service request, we'll select billing question. The release of space option is covered in the release training module. Next, we need to identify the OA we're asking about. Scrolling to the existing OA section, we'll click the Find button. Since we selected Leased earlier, OASIS displays a list of my agency's leased OAs. I can type my specific OA number into the ID search field or use any of the filters at the top of the column to help search for my specific OA. A separate request is required for each OA, which means you're unable to add more than one OA to a request at a time. Once I've found my OA, I click the radio button and select OK. Please do not skip this step. It is important to include an OA number in your request. This piece of information is critical to route the question through the system to the correct region and correct ordering officials. Once we selected our OA, the OA number and other identifying information auto-completes the remaining existing OA fields. If needed, we can open the OA record by clicking on the arrow next to the number. If we added an OA by accident, we can click the Remove button. This clears the existing OA section and allows you to start over and click Find to add the correct OA. We can also open any existing documents that are part of the OA record. Most OAs will not have any existing documents, and in our example, none populated. Next, we complete the Topic section to best describe our issue. You're able to select multiple topics if applicable. For our example, we're wondering about a billing adjustment, so I'll select specific rates, and a new section opens asking me to select the rate involved. When I select billing adjustment from my payment group, the name table will populate with potential billing adjustment types. A list of all potential rate categories and names can be found in the customer user guide. For our example, my billing adjustment was for an agency funded shell credit, so I'll select that option. I am able to select multiple rates if needed. Now that we've made our selections, we'll move down to the Describe Your Request field. We ask that you please help the GSA OASIS team by providing as much detail as possible in this section. This might include specific dates, square footages, amounts, and any other information that you might have. For our example, I might type 
we received an agency funded shell credit for ten thousand dollars in may 2024 per an email from gsa on march 15th we were expecting the agency funded shell to be 15,000. Will the remaining amount appear in a later month or was the amount reduced? Typing in front of an audience is definitely a skill. The next section under describe your request is contact information. Here, you would simply enter your information in case the GSA OASIS team needs to reach out to you. You can also specify a GSA contact if you've been working with someone in the region already. This will help our OA editors jumpstart their research. For our example, I'll put in some placeholder information. We next have the option to upload a document. In the Describe Your Request section, I mentioned an email I had from GSA. This would be a good place to upload that document. To attach the document, click Upload on the right section of Related Documents. Files can be dragged from a folder and dropped in this uploading section. Files can also be added by clicking the single upload link in the upper right or the select multiple files for upload link in the bottom left. After I've uploaded all of my documents, I'm ready to submit the request. I scroll back up to the top and hit submit. The form closes and I'm back on my customer portal page. Now that we've submitted a request, there are four additional queries I want to call your attention to. These queries will contain all request information submitted by anyone in your agency. The first is draft requests. This is where any requests that are started but not submitted would be found. In this query, I can select a draft request, open it, continue working on it, and submit it once I'm ready. It will stay in this section until I hit submit. The second is for in-progress requests. This is where we find any requests that are currently with GSA, including billing questions and releases of space. I can find the request I just submitted here. If I click on the link, you'll see my request is pending right here. And I can open that request and view the details if needed. The third query is for recently completed requests, which will show all requests completed within the last 30 days. If you need to see requests completed earlier than 30 days, there's a final query. This query is on the left side and called all customer requests. Opening that query will display all requests that are either in draft, in progress, or closed status. You can filter the list by any field, including status, which is helpful to find answered requests. That concludes our submit a billing request training. You should now be able to submit a request, track it through the process, and find requests submitted by yourself and others in your agency. Thank you, and don't miss the remaining OASIS training videos for customers.